Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 24 from the specimen paper of the new IGCSE 0580 paper 2 non calculator um, extended paper. And this question here is um, firstly about completing the square. So it says write x squared minus 4x plus 7 in the form x minus a squared plus b. Okay, and there's in fact two ways we could do this, but the way that really they intend you to do it is by completing the square. But I'll show you both ways. So completing the square, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to first make sure that there's no number in front of the x squared apart from one. It says one x squared, not minus x squared, not two x squared, not three x squared. It has to be one x squared, which which it does say. So that's fine. So we can start now completing the square. So I'm going to write a bracket which is squared enough for two terms in there and the sign between them i'm going to write the square root of the x squared which is x whatever sign comes after the x squared i'm going to write down and then the coefficient of the x term i'm going to take a half of that and write it over here a half of that and write over there. not the square root of that the half of that so if that was a six i'll put three if that was a nine i'll put 4.5 so on or you know nine over two All right so i take whatever's there and i write half of that number down and then what i do is I take away the square of whatever number I wrote down here, which is going to be 4. Okay, so right now, we haven't finished yet, but right now, basically what I've written down here and this are the same thing. What's highlighted in there and there is the same. They're basically the same thing. I have completed the square for, for, x, completed the square for x squared minus 4x. If I expanded this, I'm going to get x squared, I'm going to get minus 4x, I'm going to get plus 4, then we have a minus 4 outside it. The plus 1 minus 4 will cancel out, leaving you with x squared minus 4x. So what's left at the end of it? We have plus 7. So now I'm left with x minus 2 squared, and I have minus 4 plus 7, which is the same as 7 minus 4, which is plus 3. So this is the answer to the question. x minus a squared plus... x minus 2 squared plus 3. Okay, in this form, you're going to have x x minus 2 squared plus 3 so there's the answer to 24 part a and you know if you understand that that's fine we should know how to complete the square and what i've done there um, but there's also an alternative method that you could use so you could start off by expanding this bracket which will give you x squared if you square a bracket you have you square the first term you multiply the next term next terms together and then you double it so it'll be minus 2 ax and then you square the last terms so you'll have plus a squared and then you'll have plus b and if we compare that to what we what we have to um, write in that form we have x squared minus 4x okay um, plus 7. so if we compare the x terms with each, with each other we can say that the 2a is the same as the 4. so 2a is equal to 4 so a is going to be 2. okay so we can say you have x minus 2 squared and we can see here that the a squared plus b, the constant term, a squared plus b is the same as 7. Let me just do that in a different color. So the a squared plus b and the 7 are the same. Okay, so I can say that a squared plus b has to be the same as 7. I know a is 2, so that's going to be 2 squared, which is 4, plus b equals 7. So b is 7 minus 4, which is 3. So I, have, I can put plus 3. Okay, so that's an alternative way of writing in this form if you want to. This is really the way that's intended, I guess. But in the end, you get the same answer, x minus 2 squared plus 3. So that's completing the square. Now, part B of the question is telling us to write down the coordinates of the turning point of the graph with the, of y equals x squared minus 4x plus 7. So there's two points here. One, it's only worth one mark. That's one thing. Okay, that's one thing we should note straight away. It's only worth one mark. The other thing it says write down which implies that you don't have to do any calculations okay um, and the other thing we should notice uh, is that this basically is exactly the same as what we had in the question in the beginning they're the same thing x squared minus 4x plus 7 x squared minus 4x plus 7 they're exactly the same so of course it's got something to do with part a now 
we rewrote the equation as y equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. Now many of you will have memorized that the turning point of this graph, this is a quadratic, the turning point is going to be like where the vertex is, that's where it turns, it is given by whatever you see inside this bracket with the opposite sign, so it's going to be 2, and whatever's outside the bracket with the same sign for the y coordinate. And many of you would memorize that the vertex is going to be basically the opposite of that sign and the same as that sign. Now I want you to understand why. Okay, Basically in this expression you can rewrite it as y equals 3 plus x minus 2 squared. In this expression you are always adding something to 3. It's 3 plus something. And this something that you're adding to 3 can never be something that's negative because inside this bracket whatever comes is going to be squared so it's going to become positive even if this is a negative value inside here when you square it, it becomes positive so you always have three plus something so the value of this expression can never go below three three is the lowest it can ever go okay now when will it reach three the when will release that lowest point is is when you're adding nothing to it what value of x causes you to add nothing to the three well, what value of x causes this to become 0? Zero? 0 squared is 0. So when you put x equals 2 in here, this becomes 2 minus 2, which is 0. And you're left with 3 plus 0 squared, which is 3. That's the lowest value that y can ever be, Okay, which is going to be corresponding to the point minus, uh, sorry, um, 2 and minus 3. Okay, 2 and 3, sorry, not minus 3, 2 and 3. Okay, because when you put 2 in here, what you're left with is 3. That's the lowest it can ever, ever go. So that's the reasoning behind uh, why the vertex will always be whatever x value makes this bracket 0 for the x coordinate and whatever's left outside after that's become 0 for the y coordinate. Okay, so in this kind of question, you can just use this answer straight away and put 2, 3. That's why it's worth one mark. That's why it says write down. You don't have to show any steps. Some people would say, oh, turning point means we have to differentiate and then they will differentiate this. They'll say dy dx equals 2x minus 4. And the turning point when that's equal to 0. So they'll have x equals 4 over 2, which is 2. And they'll put this back into here. They'll say y equals 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times, four, four times um, 2, which is 8. And then you're going to have plus 7. So you'll end up with minus 4 plus 7, which is going to be 3. So the y coordinate will be 3 at the turning point. But you don't need to do any of that differentiation stuff here. Um, and the question is intended for you not to. If you did, I'm sure you'd still get the marks, but it's only worth one mark, no need to differentiate. You can just use this form to write down, just write down the vertex. So there's the answer to 24, part A and B. And that concludes this question from this paper, um, the specimen paper from the 2025 exam. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist over here. Um, you can find questions dealing with quadratics, okay um, and completing the square in fact i have a separate playlist just with uh, completing the square so i'll have um, completing the square here and also completing the square from the old syllabus it doesn't really have any difference between this and that syllabus actually but just the newer questions i'll put here and the questions from the previous i'll put in this playlist you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching see you soon